Yo, what is up, Buffalo Fanatics? It's your boy, JTM. This is Let's Talk About it. And as promised, I have Buffalo Bills star safety, Jordan Poirier with us. What is up, Jordan, man? What's up, y'all? How you doing, man? Not much, man. Just got done with practice, trying to take care of the body now. So uh, I'm, in the, I'm in this facility right now, just uh, getting done, man. Now, as far as the offseason goes, man, like I said, that's supposed to be you guys' time off to relax and stuff. But when we follow most of you guys on IG, especially you, you're training all summer. Oh, you got to, man. You got to, you got to stay ready. See, so you ain't got to get ready, man. This league, everybody's trying to take a job, man. So it's a, uh, it's a blessing to be able to be here. But yeah, it's some off time, but definitely you got to stay on top of your stuff. All right, man. So I want to get into uh, your background a little bit for those who don't know in Buffalo. Now you're from Oregon, right? Yeah, from the state of Oregon. Went to Oregon State. Shout out to Beavers, Corvallis, Oregon. All American. Yes, sir. All American. All consensus. All American. Don't forget that. Uh, All right. My, my senior year, so yeah, you got to throw that one in there. Okay. Now, question. Did mom and dad play sports? Yeah, mom and dad played sports. Uh, both My mom actually played three sports in college. She uh, transferred twice, uh, had some tragedy happen in, in college, so she ended up transferring from, or- from Oregon State. Went to a smaller school in Oregon, then transferred to Eastern New Mexico, uh, where she met my dad. She played volleyball there. My dad played football there, so uh, got a lot of got a lot of sports, sports background in the family. Okay. Now, I was doing a little bit of research on you, man. You played quarterback in high school. Yes, yeah, sir. I was a quarterback, man. I was a two-way player. Our, our, our school was kind of small. We were kind of uh, – went up to 6A. We were a 4A school. Probably had about 800 kids at our, at our high school. But I was, I was definitely a quarterback, all state. Won the state championship my senior year, 14-0. Shout out to Fisherman, man. We, we took it as the last – the only state championship that, the, that we had won and the last one we had won. So I definitely, definitely carried that one under the belt. Now I got a question. Since you was out there balling as a quarterback in high school, when you went to college, you transitioned to what? Cornerback or safety first? I, I transitioned to uh, to corner, and then they had moved me into safety probably uh, at the end of training camp. Uh, no, I wasn't in the training. It was probably midway through the season. We had a couple guys go down. Um, they had they had moved me from uh, from safety actually to corner, um, and then I actually went to the league and then got moved from corner to safety. So I kind of been all around on the back end, of, uh, back end side of the ball. Now, as far as playing quarterback, right, and having to understand all the different positions and what the defense are doing, how easy did that make the transition to that side of the ball in college? Uh, you know, I played, I played, I played a lot of corner in high school. Played some safety. Obviously, it's way different. The tempo is faster. The speed is faster. But you know, I was able to learn the position, and and I had a lot of great mentors that were ahead of me that taught me the position. I had a lot of great coaches. Um, but you know, being able to be on that side of the football, kind of having an understanding what the offense is trying to do. Um, definitely helped me be able to make plays and read quarterback's eyes and know where he's trying to go with football. Definitely, man, definitely. So, you had a good season last year, man, great season. 95 tackles, uh, five picks. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Worked hard, man. This, this, uh, it's a fun defense to play in. Got a lot of really good guys on the side of the football that work well together, so it's uh, definitely fun. Definitely. I mean, we just had an interview recently with our former Bill quarterback, Jeff Burris, and I, I asked him a question. Um, because your secondary was new with you, Tredavious and Micah Hyde and EJ Gaines that was there last year all come together, how did you guys gel so fast? Uh, you know, we just kind of took it with the with with what it was, man. We knew <clears throat> we knew nobody had very very high expectations on us, and so um, we we took it upon ourselves to make sure that you know people knew who we were, and uh, you know we we came to work every day, um, worked hard, uh, communicated, hung out off the field, which I think is just as important as being in the meeting rooms, talking in the meeting rooms, and so um, it's a really good group of guys. You know, like I said, you know, Mike and I we had known each other before coming in here, and then you know Trey came in, you know should have been you know he. he one of the top corners in the league, I think, and then Gaines came in and fit in right away. And so, um, and like I said, it was it was a fun fun group to be around. Uh, we, like I said, we worked really hard and just you know just took it for what it was, man. Like I said, no nobody had high expectations on us but ourselves in that in that room. And so we just kept kept working and kept pushing. Now you guys have a veteran cornerback in your room, new cornerback in your room, veteran in Vontae Davis. Mm-hmm. Um, how influential was that having having a guy that's been that been really great in the league for a long time. It's huge, man. Uh, I mean, just his leadership and just you know the amount of snaps that he's played on uh, on the, <clears throat> on the outside. You know, he just he just brings so much to the table. His understanding of the game and you know he's came in and bought right into the system, bought right into the scheme, and bought bought into how how we go about our business each and every day, how we go to work and. Um, you know, he, it, it, he's, just, he's one of the guys now. And so, like I said, it, it's, it's fun group to be around. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of new players up front and the linebacker 
uh, in the linebacker room that are going to help us make plays and, and make it easier on the back end for us. Great, man. That's great. Like I said, I know a lot. Of, I know myself and a lot of other fans are really excited to see what you guys do in year two. Um, like I said, I, I have you guys tabbed as a top three, if not the best secondary in the NFL. So we're expecting big things from you guys. Your team. Let me ask you this question, right? In the NFL now, because of the spread systems, you being a, for, a cornerback, a former cornerback, Micah Hyatt being a former cornerback, how important is that with the spread system that you guys are converted corners to pretty much safety, and now you have everything in front of you? Yeah, you know, I, I have that question asked a lot. And, you know, to me, um, you know, I'm not the biggest guy out there. I'm not the strongest guy out there. Um, I, I feel like I, I would like to think that I see the field really well. Um, route recognition is huge, understanding where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there. And, um, you know, and then just the communication part um, all across the board, um, you know, from the back end to the linebackers to, to the front and understand what all 11 guys are doing on, on, on defense. And so, um, you know, the transition wasn't wasn't tough. Just I think the biggest challenge for me was was run fits, um, you know, because I, I never really had run fits uh, as a corner. You All you're really doing is crack replacing. But when you see, you know, a guard pool and you got to go next available gap or you see, you know, a zone scheme, you got to come beat the cr- beat the crack and get vertical. You know, it's definitely it was definitely challenging. You know, I'm still I'm still learning it, still working on it. Um, each and every day and I think Mike and I both you know we feed off each other's energy feed off each other's you know competitiveness and and we you know we want to be the best and you know we believe that we are um, you know whatever anybody else has to say outside of this outside of this building you know they can say what they want to say but him and I you know we take it into accountability we have high expectations on ourselves and our coaches have high expectations for us and so we want to be the best and so like I said we're just learning we're learning more and more each and every day about each other about the scheme um, you know about the guys around us and so it, it definitely definitely makes it easier when you got guys like that around you now coming from Oregon which is on the west coast and I know I know you're not residing in Florida <laughs> how's the how, how's the weather treating you in Buffalo how did you how was the conversion to that man it's, it's nice today man it's about 85 out you know I it felt like I was down in down on the south beach for a little bit outside at practice today but no it's it's uh you know it's beautiful out here obviously you know the winter time gets a little chilly but we like to we like to take that to our advantage man nobody wants to come here in the winter time and play you know in front of this crowd and you know play here and it's you know minus 10 degrees whatever it is you know outside you know we kind of we like to take take advantage of that and, and you know I remember when I was in Cleveland you know, not that we won a whole lot of games out there, but when we, when we came to Buffalo in the wintertime, it was probably our second to last game of the season. I mean, it's just like you flying in, you don't see a whole lot, you see snow on the ground. It's like, dang, you know, it's already in your mind. Like, it's going to be it's gonna be a cold one. So we like to use that to our advantage. And these fans out here are great, man. Rain, sun, you know, sleet, snow, they're going to be out there cheering, going crazy. Um, probably one of the best memories I had was in the, the snow game last year against the Colts, you know, the you know, full stadium or as full as it could be. You know, fans out there in the freezing, they're going crazy, you know, and we end up winning the game and just celebration on the sideline with the with the fans throwing snow in there, you know, it was, it was really awesome. So definitely embrace the fans out here and you know, they're gonna they're gonna cheer for you, you know, no matter no matter the weather. So it's it's def- it's awesome to use it to your advantage. Now, like I said, I'm I'm expecting a great season from you guys and as far as that snow game goes, this lucky guy right here picked the one home game to go to and happened to be. It happened to be that one. <laughs> that was game. I bet it was nuts. I bet it was a nuts. memory I have forever. And I know a memory I that you guys and all the fans that were there will have Definitely. forever. It was an amazing experience. Definitely. It was awesome. Now, you have a couple causes that you that you all mm-hmm. work with. You have the Poyer Camp. Yep. And Camp Good Kid, is it? Camp Good Days. Good days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Camp Good Days is a uh, it's an organization that helps kids who either have cancer, or have parents who have cancer, or have passed away with cancer. And so, you know, I really I went there last year for Halloween and uh, to make pumpkins with the kids, and they really impacted my life in a positive way. So I wanted to continue to uh, to give back to them and and to help support that organization and, and to keep moving forward. And then my my camp that I I hold every year since I've been in the league, except last year because my daughter was just born, um, you know, a couple months prior and. Uh, I'm going back, go back to Astoria, uh, where I, you know, where I grew up, and hold a camp for the kids, um, you, you know, out there. And then this year, we're actually doing a little something different. We're going to have the camp out in Astoria, and then I'm going to drive to Portland, and there's going to be a high school seven on seven tournament that I'll be, I'll be hosting that too. So it'll be a fun, fun eventful, eventful day. Now speaking of your daughter, right? We yep. see the videos you post. She's becoming a little bit of an Instagram star, man. Man, I don't, <laughs> that's all my wife, man. That's all. That's all my wife. You know, she, my daughter's beautiful, and so you know, I, I anything that you know 
makes my wife happy. You know, I'm happy, happy wife, happy life. So if she want to make her a little Instagram star, that's all right. She she gonna be a daddy's girl when she gets older, though. I just know that. Right now, she's at a little sassy age, so it's a it's a little tough to uh, to control her right now. You know, her terrible twos are coming up, so I'm a little nervous about that. But I know, I know, eventually, you know, the mama stage. She's in the mama stage now. She wants to say, his "Mama, mama, this, mama that." I just know, I know it's coming around, especially when she sees how daddy goes to work and how daddy, you know, goes about his business and wants to be out here on the football field running around. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to see her grow up. Now, Jordan has a uh, trivia question for some of the fans watching and viewing, and I hope you're viewing because this is a great question. Um, the, the first person to answer right will get a prize in the Fanatic giveaway. So shoot, Jordan. All right. So, uh, you know, I played, I was a three-sport three sport athlete in high school, I actually played Played in college too, baseball and football. The question is, what team did I get drafted out of high school to go play baseball in the major leagues? So, uh, if you answer that question, I guess you get the prize. First person to answer the question gets the prize. So, once again, I'll ask it again. What team did I get drafted to out of high school to go play in the major leagues? I definitely. Yeah, you guys got to answer it. Um, speaking of baseball, we've seen like Russell Wilson lately go take some at bats. Mm -hmm. We see Jordan Poyer maybe go down the. You know, I, I, I'm actually going tomorrow, man. Going to the Bison's, uh, Bison's. I, I think it's either a practice or a game. Uh, I'm supposed to be down there at three o'clock. I'm supposed to take some batting practice, take some infield. So I'm a little nervous. Like my my first pitch the other. I'm not a pitcher, so you know I had a first first pitch I threw out the other, like, a couple of weeks ago. Sailed it when I went over to the backstop, but that's that's not my that's not my game. I'm, I was an outfielder. Um, you know, I hit the ball really well. But uh, I'm, I, I get to go play around with some real ballers tomorrow, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Oh, man, definitely, definitely. Well, Jordan, man, I mean, like I said, it's, uh, I think everybody's really anticipating the season. You guys uh, drafted Josh Allen earlier. You guys got an absolute-looking beast in Tremaine Edmonds. Mm -hmm. um, secondary still looks shut down. Um, I know everybody's really excited about this team this year, and uh, we really want to thank you for really um, embracing the city of Buffalo. Nah, the city's awesome, man, and you know they embrace me, and so you know I want to. I'm working hard for them, you know, because I know you know they they want it just as bad as I do, and so you know I'm, I still last year I'm a little salty about the Jacksonville game. You know, I felt like we should have came away with that W, but we're working hard to get back to that to that same uh, you know get back to the playoffs this year because you get in the playoffs you got a chance. So I promise y'all we're working hard out here every single day uh, when we get the chance to during OTAs, and we're gonna come into training camp uh, you know with the feet feet in the ground running. I mean, it had to be an amazing feeling to, break, to be here to break the drought. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, I mean, I still remember, you know, coming home from Miami like it was yesterday. Uh, you know, obviously got the, got the dub in Miami, had to wait for the Cincinnati and, and Baltimore game to be over with. And then, you know, just to see the amount of support that we had on New Year's Day, you know, it was it had to be minus 15 degrees outside when we landed and all the fans that were out there. And then, you know, just the support, the support that we have around here, around this organization is, is amazing. And we as players really appreciate that. We really embrace it. And like I said, we want to work hard, you know, to, to, to see that again and to, to go even further. Definitely, man. Like I said, we all have faith in you guys. We're all rooting you guys on. Um, but definitely, man, good luck on the upcoming season, uh, Jordan. Appreciate we know it. We got we got your back, man, and uh, appreciate it, man. Stay in touch, Jordan. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Yep. Peace, Bills Mafia. We love you. Everybody, that was Jordan Poyer, starting safety for the Buffalo Bills, star player. Um, like I said, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a great season coming up. I know I'm excited. I know a lot of other people are excited. Uh, I mean, man. Like I said, I think this is the most excited that we've been in Buffalo in, in a really, really long time. Uh, I think we have stability. That's the biggest thing now It's stability. It's We have a management team that's working together. We have a head coach that's determined. And we have a bunch of players that have a lot to prove on the field. But not only on, on, on the field, we have a lot of high-character guys off the field. These guys are in the communities. They're working for you, uh, working hard for you, like Jordan said. Um, so we just have to root them on. And there's something I want to touch on that has been happening lately. And I, and it, it kind of bothers me somewhat, right? The thing is this, man, when they release, when they put all these rules out, um, as far as for player, player safety and things of that such, these rules are put out to protect the players. These rules are there to keep them safe. 
Because like I said, at the end of the day, we often forget that there's a life after football. Football isn't it. Football's a run for maybe 10 years if you're lucky. But there's a life after that. And these guys aren't meant to be barbarics. They're humans just like you and I. They bleed just like you and I. They get banged up just like you and I, even if we view them as superheroes. So just let's take it easy on the rules a little bit, man. You know, we want to keep these guys safe because we want them to enjoy their life when they're far out the limelight, limelight of what we're doing or what they're doing and when we're not necessarily cheering them on every single Sunday. But like I said, man, this was uh, uh, this this was uh, a great interview, man. I'm 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 very gracious for Jordan taking time out of his day to join us, especially in OTAs. Um, but at the end of the day, we got something here, people. We have something here. Like I said, I know you feel it. I feel it. Um, just the whole aura. You know, we haven't had this type of feel in, in an extremely long time. And I know players like Jordan Foyer and Micah High and Davis White, who are here for the long term, will see this thing through, man. We're going to see this thing through. So, in the day, man, that, that was my interview with Jordan Foyer today. It's my time. I'm happy that you guys tuned in. Thank you. I will be announcing the winner uh, actually momentarily here. Let's see. The winner is of the Jordan Poyer trivia question. Looks like it's Jonathan Holler. He was the first one to, all, to answer Marlins. So, Jonathan, uh, I will link up with you after this broadcast, and I will get your address, and we will send you that Fanatic giveaway because we are the home of the Fanatics, and we are the home of the giveaways. But two things more thing I want to touch off next, and I'm out of here. Make sure you guys are joining the Buffalo Fanatic Patreon community. Like I said, for things like Jordan's good uh, camps and foundations, what we do is we take your subscriptions to us and we put those to a charitable cause. We can donate to those foundations, those charities, and things like that to help the unfortunate. Um, it, it, it goes to a lot of good. Um, we work really hard to bring you guys interviews like this and information. And we work around the clock. I mean, you know, so definitely, definitely, let's help these guys out with their causes and their foundations. Also, make sure that you're paying attention for the Buffalo Fanatic Gaming that we just launched. This is going to be huge. Like I said, it's going to revolutionize everything. We're going to be on Xbox. We're going to be on PS4. We're already on Xbox. So if you haven't gone to www.twitch.tv slash Buffalo Fanatics, please go there if you're a gamer. Like it. Um, follow us. Make sure you jump in some games with us. We just had some things with Deion Dawkins. We'll have more things coming up with Fortnite and NHL and Matt and all these different games because we want to find a way to link you guys to fans with these players from the comfort of your home and the comfort of their home. By the way, that's it for me. I am JTM. I am your host. This was Let's Talk About It. Once again, thank you to Jordan Poirier, starting safety to the Buffalo Bills for joining us, and thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you next time at the home of the giveaways. In the home of the exclusive interviews, because we're the only one doing it right now, like this. Catch you later. Peace. <laughs>